Oh, if I ever said enough times, I can never let you go. Guys, yes, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Priscilla, and uh, today I have come to do. Uh... my youtube channel so today i thought i would come by as you can see my hair looks different and it's really really dirty but today i want to show you how i wash my hair and just how i would uh, take care of my hair at home using products that uh, i have in my kitchen and stuff like that so come with me as i wash my hair so guys these are some of the products that i'll be using and uh, I want to try this pumpkin oil. I've never used it. I'll use the coconut oil. I will use um, the apple cider vinegar, the Bragg. Uh, this is a very old argan oil. I don't know if you can see. Yes, hair treatment. Uh, I got this from uh, Skin in Uganda. It's a moisture defense shampoo. Uh, this is a very old Uzuri hair oil. I'll use this for my curl activator. It's the advanced coffee and rice activator milk. And then I'll use uh, the Kentaro Berry Bliss moisturizing shampoo. And uh, I have my uh, Jamaican castor oil. And then I have the dark and lovely all natural afro moisturizing butter all these i'll use after then for my treatment i am going to go in with a ghee this is a ghee that i picked up from where i stay as you can see it's in a language that you don't understand but yeah there it is ghee around dairy and uh, i'll use tresem as my conditioner and in here i have uh, my aloe vera, I think you can see it somewhere down there. I have my aloe vera juice, uh, lemon and ginger. So I usually put this in my hair just to, after I've oh, unplated the hair. So yes, I am going to, and the, and the hair oils so that I can put them in. <laughs> after combing it out oh my god i love the afro are you seeing or is it you know like i really do love um the afro it's beautiful it's it's nice and it's bouncy so yeah this is how it looks and now i'm going to go and wash it i'm going to use uh, my tresemme uh, conditioner and I'll use my heads and shoulders shampoo and then I'll also use my Kentaro um, shampoo so yeah it's spray it with it. my lemon uh, ginger and aloe vera juice because it's really been itching to just remove um, any form of dandruff and yeah so let's see how that goes I'm going to spray my hair with uh, this is the mixture this is the lemon ginger aloe vera uh, and I've just put in a little uh, detangler so I'm going to spray my hair before I wash it and leave it to sit <laughs> Guys, uh, I'm done with washing my hair and oh my god, my hands are hard <laughs> from all the washing and I had really not done this in a while. So yeah, anyway, so I'm done with washing and I'm going to just show you <laughs> the shrinkage. Okay, so this is how my hair looks like. Imagine that before when it was all puffy and nice and you know, yeah, but uh, it's okay, embrace the shrinkage. This It's part of uh, our hair and uh, so, yeah, so I'm going to just put in my hair treatment and I will sit in uh, the warmer thing and then... 
so i have just mixed uh one one and a half teaspoon tablespoons of this ghee this ghee is uh it's raw ghee but they, it has it's it does not have a nasty scent so i'm going to mix one of these and uh, let me just so i am also going to put some of this this is the pumpkin oil in the mixture here and i'll put i'll put uh, i'll just put enough i don't know if you guys can see i'm just going to mix it then i'll also i'm also going to submix the ghee with the pumpkin oil i'm going to also mix in the coconut coconut this um, coconut oil and i'll mix in some argan this one so i'm just going to do an oil treatment and uh, let's see how that goes i put in ghee this is uh, the treatment sorry about the focusing anyway so i'm going to just put some of it in my hair all of it until the hair is really drenched and uh, then i put so this <laughs> So when we are done, when I'm done with uh, with putting in the hair oil, I'm now going to put on my plastic cup. Uh, and uh, I'm now going to put my cup. This one. So now I am going to use this to... This is what they call the heat... Like it's like a dryer, but a home, a home thing. So it's the first time I'm using it. Let's use it together. Let's open it together. This from uh, a lady in Uganda. She is called Tendai Nimat. I'll put her Instagram here uh, in the in either in the description box below or somewhere in this video. So feel free to hit her up if you are a naturalista and you are looking to experiment. So this is how the cup looks like. It has this cord and then it has this so i'm going to put this and then i put it in um power I think. so it has an on and off button let's try so you plug it into power and then on it will show you uh i don't know if you can see a button that it's on uh then off okay so this is on now i'm going to put it on my hair and I am going to time and um, so it's been a few minutes and after some time the cup starts to warm up I can feel it warming but it's not so it's not hot that you know it burns so let's wait and see how it feels like oh then you can actually I just thought you can pull this to make it tighter on the head that to sort of uh, lock in the heat so this is so have you seen this there's this you can use this to lock in the heat so i'll check in with you guys See. at uh, minutes down and uh, so i've just come to check in so right now the cup it gets a bit hot but it's not it's warm you know it's warm and it's it's uh, it's not too hot it's not uncomfortably hot there's a little you in terms of do you hear like so i hear a little bit of a noise like zzz, but it's not so i think it's the car the power flowing through but it's not so much it's not irritating so i've been on my phone and uh, right now it is uh, remaining with a few minutes to i i timed myself for 30 minutes oh, so i want to so yeah, the, it feels really nice. So the hair is really warm. It's been very relaxing. Um, the only downside is that you can't move around. So you have to sit in one place because uh, <laughs> it's plugged into power. And so this is the countdown. 
Okay, we are done with the 30 minutes. You guys have seen them. Uh, let us... <sighs> okay, so this is how... Let me just put on my towel. I must say it really... Oh. It feels really nice. And... Uh, this is a big reveal. So this is how my hair looks like after the hot oil treatment. I think it's it's very, very soft, guys, you can see. And I wish you could smell it. It really smells nice. So this is how it looks i'm going to just comb it out and then twist it and yeah i'm done with the process i think i put in a lot of oil but <laughs> twist out my hair and uh, so now i'm just going to twist to comb my hair to just put comb my hair in bits and pieces and uh, twist it out. I'm not going to add any oil, I'll just add some moles and I'll be combing it out. So this is what I'll do. I'll just get my comb, this, and comb it out. And you guys can see how long my hair is. Can you see? This is the length. And then I'll just twist it out and partish, separate it into two and I twist it out right from the bottom <laughs> This is how my hair looks twisted so I will just uh, spray some water and then I call it a night so yeah I don't know if you guys can see but uh, this is how my hair looks like twisted and uh, yeah so I have twisted it using some wrap olive oil wrap foam and uh, yeah so i'm just going to spray it with some water and uh, call it a night so thank you so much for watching this is how i basically twist or take care of my natural hair my bossy kinky hair <laughs> and probably maybe i should do a follow-up video when i take down the twists after maybe a week or two because i don't think i'll take them out now and yeah so Thank you guys for watching. If you don't yet subscribe, please do subscribe. And if you like this content, please consider staying and sharing the videos. Journey to 1K before end of the year. So thank you so much and bye.